I heard that Taylor Sheridan was writing a television series. It was one of the best, if not the best pilot I think I've ever read. I was just floored by his writing. I was already a fan of Taylor's work from Sicario and Hell or High Water. I just wanted on it. I was drawn to the world, to the people, and all of their complexities. Taylor's just so brilliant in writing these things, and they're so much fun to play out. It still harkens back to the old school cowboy. He does a great job of weaving between the modern day world of cowboy and the old school way of it. To me, it's about it the the death of a way of life. It's also, you know, about the, the changing structure of family, and the death of a family. Yeah. It was really clear how I fit in Yellowstone as kind of patriarch of this fourth generation family that has come to Montana and blossomed here, if you will. Take a way of life that's been here for three, four hundred years and, and have it be relevant with all the problems that come. The land's still simple, but we aren't. You yeah. Know? I don't know if we ever were. The world of Yellowstone is, it's a harsh land. When those cattle walked onto our land, they became our cattle. To do as we please. Whatever happens next, happens to you first. It's really a story about a family and, and family business, and that's sort of what I grasped onto, and ebbs and flows of the relationship of the family. There's a lot going on in this series, and people fighting for a way of life that is sort of slipping through the cracks in modern society. A lot of what Yellowstone is about is what the idea of the American West was, and how that has changed. And how do we preserve that? Is it right to preserve that? The town grows or it dies. Maybe it should grow. Up. Condos, Alan. You know, these are all conflicting ideas that are somehow also all tied into each other. You want to build subdivisions? Move to Dallas. I won't have them here. Progress doesn't need your permission. In this valley, it does. So he's dealing with all the modern problems. You were right. They're building a city. And as the things start to push in on John Dutton, he would like to turn it into a western. Everyone's forgotten who runs this valley. This is not the way to remind them. It's a bad idea. We don't choose the way, little brother. If you think back to when I was a kid and you were a kid and you're watching things like Gunsmoke and Bonanza, and we started talking about what if you made one of those today? It's relevant to what's going on today as far as ranchers and politics and BLM and the water rights and all those things coming out the forefront of the ranching community right now. We just don't see the world the same way. We belong to the land. No man really owns the land. It's all part of the same game as how you eliminate those people that are in conflict with you. It's an elevated, heightened version of these things that actually exist. So I think people will really be able to relate to that. And the Dutton Ranch is a whole other world. This is a super exciting world to be entering into. So we have an opportunity in TV that has never existed before where you can, technically we can do anything. And creatively we can explore anything. Fortunately, we have the ability to shoot a show the way no one's ever shot a show. There's something so profoundly alive about all of these characters. They're willing to do anything for their family at any cost or consequence. I think it's maybe the one thing everyone has in common. When I spoke to Taylor the first time, he said it's basically a Greek tragedy in the big sky country. That's this family. It's quite a bit of drama. The Wild West is still wild, but not in the way it used to be.